So in this video, we're going to go through probably the laziest way to re to navigate between pages in Swift UI. This is good if you have an app with like four or five pages. Like I said, it just uses states, state variables to switch on or off a view. So I made this humble diagram over here to explain how this architecture works. You'll have a home view. In this case, I call my home view content view and there and that will be the base of your app. And then the other views, when you switch them on, are gonna slide over your homepage or your content view or whatever your base view is, whatever you wanna call it. In this case, I call it content view. So for example, if uh, I set account visible to true, what's gonna happen is that account view is gonna slide over my content view. Not like this, like, like this. So over here, account visible is set to true, and then that's gonna cause it to slide over. It's gonna cause it to slide over the content view, basically. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so let's see what that actually looks like in code. So these are the views that I mentioned before. I have three views, login view, new view, and account view. And my main view is gonna be content view. From here, I'm gonna call all those views, search them on and off. To do that, the first step will be to create the state variable that switch on or off each view that I have. And I will add them in my content view, my home view, my base view. So for my three views that I mentioned earlier, I have a switch for a login called login visible, one for an account page, and another for the add new page. Initially, they're all gonna be false because they're all gonna be off and the only thing visible is gonna be my home page, which is content view. Next step, I'm gonna add a binding variable in the struct of the view that I want to navigate to. For example, if I wanna to navigate to login, I'm gonna to go to my login struct over here, and then, then I'm gonna add a binding variable here called login visible with the type bool. Doesn't have to be the same name, but I prefer it to be the same name personally because it makes things easier. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing in my new view. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing in my account view. Now that we've done that, what we need to do now is to implement navigation links that will take us to the other views in our app. We have three views in this app. So we will need to create three navigation links. So go ahead and create a uh, view variable like this one over here with an MTV stack. This one is gonna contain your navigation links. Our first navigation link would look like this. It'll have three variables. One that tells it where all this link takes us. In this case, it takes it to the login view. And the other variable tells it when it should be active, meaning that when it should do the navigation. In this case, I'm gonna add my state variable from before the login visible. True, false, true means it's active, go there. False means don't go there, stay in this page. And then I'm gonna put empty view in the third variable because I don't want to have a label to this link. I just want it to be in the back there doing all the work programmatically. You really don't have to do much. Just do the same for the other two views. So add two more links. And then, and then now that you have all your links set up to activate them, all you have to do is just grab this navigation links variable and then put it somewhere in your body. Could be anywhere, it doesn't matter because it doesn't show anything. So I'll put it here. One thing that I forgot to mention uh, in order for this whole thing to work is that you must wrap your whole VStack in a navigation view like this. You get to use your navigation links. You could use them to go between the views. Uh, you just need to implement them in your actions, your buttons or your uh, whatever. Note here that I have a button in my main page called sign out that currently doesn't do anything but log that currently doesn't do anything but print out sign out in the console like you see over here. But now what I wanted to do is that I wanted to take me to the login page when I click on sign out because when you sign out, you go back to the login page. And then I want my login page when I click on login, it takes me back to the home page. To do that, I'm gonna go to the action of my button right here. And instead of having it just print out sign out, I'm gonna have it actually take me to the login page. And I'll do that by just simply setting my login physical variable to true. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try it. 
I also get my homepage a title. Now let's run it in the simulator and see what happens. This is my homepage. When I click sign up, I'm taken to the login page. Now let's take this a step farther and make the login page take us back to the home page. In order to do that, you just go to your login view over here, and then here is my log my uh, sign in action, my login action. What I'm just gonna do is that I'm gonna make it when it's clicked, it will set login visible to false to hide it. Now let's now let's test that out and see what happens. Sign out. Takes it back, takes me to the login page. Login takes him back to home page. Good. Uh, note something that in my login page, I don't have the back button visible on my uh, on the top left side of my page. This is because because this is a login page, there shouldn't be a back button over there. And in order to hide the back button, you just need to add this over here. Add it on your navigation view component. Now let's make use of the other views that we implemented. So in order to do that, let's make two more buttons, one that takes us to the account page and one that takes us to the new page. So I'm going to create two more buttons. One is going to be for account and the second one is going to be for new and this one is go to add new page and this one is going to say go to account page. Let's test it out. Now I've got the simulator running up again. Let's see what happens. When I click on account page, it takes me to the account page. When I click on new page, it takes me to the new page. We have a back button here that doesn't do anything except printing uh, printing text in the console down, down here. So let's make use of that. In order to do that, I'm going to go to my account view and under the buttons action, all I'm going to have to do is just set account visible to false. And that's going to take me back. And then I'm going to do the same thing in my new page. I'm going to set new visible to false. Now, let's run that and see what happens. Okay, here's the app again. Let's see what happens. When I click on go to account, it takes me to account. When I click on go back, it takes me back. Same thing here. I can also use my home page back button. Sign out doesn't have a back button because it doesn't make sense. Log in takes me back to the home page. That's it. We're done. So yeah, that's really all you have to do. And it's remember, it's a good approach if you have an app with four or five pages. It won't work so well. It will get messy if you try to do it on an app that has like 10 pages or 11 pages. Yeah, so yeah, I hope this helped because when I was uh, starting to learn Swift UI, I was just looking for a video that just shows me how to get the basic thing done. And this is what I was trying to do here. So I hope that helps again. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful. If you want access to the source code, you can subscribe to my Patreon. On my Patreon, I'm gonna be posting the source code for whatever video that I post here on YouTube. That's it, bye bye.